This week we're going to highlight the latest crop condition ratings from the USDA, take a look at the short-term weather forecast, and wrap things up looking at the potential for increased price volatility associated with the release of USDA reports on June 30th. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We've moved into the middle of June here and this market remains exceptionally volatile. Let's start out this week looking at the latest crop condition ratings from the USDA. It's our usual map here again, highlighting the states in red are deterioration relative to a week ago uh, in the good to excellent ratings. States in green are improvement relative to last week. You can see there has been some improvement in those southern states, but much more uh, soybean production occurs, of course, in the heart of the Corn Belt, Northern Plains, and those are the states that have deteriorated, in some cases, significantly. Aggregate, 54% good to excellent nationwide, 59% last week, and 68% last year. Let's now take a look at our aggregate crop condition index. You can see now it's at a season low here, and it's actually below the level recorded in 2019. Let's shift gears now and focus on the weather. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're going to start out this week looking at a 30-day precip map as a proxy for subsoil moisture. You can see here, unfortunately, there's quite a bit of red on this map here from middle of May to the middle of June. Uh, exceptions are western Kansas uh, moving north into parts of the northern plains. Let's now focus on the short-term weather forecast. We're looking here at Saturday or Sunday this week. All that area covered in orange is looking at fairly dry and very warm to hot conditions in the next few days. Now shifting gears to this weekend through Sunday, we are looking at some precip associated. Most of that in the pink is up in the northern plains, one to two inches. This green area here is as much as a half to an inch and a half of rain. But as you move further south and further east, you can see it's projected to be fairly dry. Let's now look into a very important system, Sunday through Monday of next week. Quite a bit of green on that map there. That's a quarter to three quarters of an inch. Will those amounts be realized? Will it be less than that or more than that? We'll keep a close eye on that for you. Now let's quantify precip over the next two weeks. Our first way of doing that is looking at our map here of courtesy of T-Storm, of course. Uh, soybean production is in the background, most likely to be wetter than normal to the left of that purple line over the next 14 days. Another way to look at it here is looking at a map here again showing those green uh, colored areas in the northern plains, very wet in some cases, but as you move south and east, it's going to be dry, slightly dry for the most part across the heart of the Corn Belt. Actually, as you move into the eastern Corn Belt, it's going to be closer to normal. Our final way of quantifying the precip, looking at our chart here for soybeans, 35% much below normal precip, below to much below and above normal is 26%. Here's a key message we want to highlight. The near normal is 39%. Will that near normal be realized or will it be slightly dry or slightly wet? Very important. Let's shift gears now to June 30th. USDA will release two reports that day. Updated acreage report, which will give us an update of the actual planted acreage this spring, and grain stocks on June 1st. We're going to take a look at price changes on the day that those reports are released. What this chart shows here is SN or old crop July bean futures or SX, uh, new crop soybean futures for November. Look at the change from the previous day. Now last year there wasn't much of a change, but look at some of those other years. A sharply higher, sharply lower. Price is unpredictable. Here's the key message. We strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to have your risk management positions in place prior to the release of these reports. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in November soybean futures. Now November beans have experienced a sharp rally here up to 1370 as we tape here on Wednesday morning. Again, strongly encourage you to defend your balance sheet. Now if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants. We'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.